Malago's like, oh, okay, as long as it's in the recording. Malago, say something? Still not working. There we go. Now, now, now everyone can hear about the titties. Now everyone can hear Hello. the titties. Hello! Wow. Oh, that? <laughs> titties! <laughs> oh titties. my god. <laughs> <laughs> hey, welcome to another episode of Changeling the Lost Bristol's Lost. We are all unhinged here. Um because I do not how I do not how Jesus Christ. That's how I we got cannot, the titties. 
<laughs> then we should say we got the titties. Stop it. <laughs> I, need I need some milk. <laughs> you need milk from where? <laughs> from where, Em? Where does milk come from, Em? <laughs> Technically, udders. That's Which the show, folks. <laughs> 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 Ladies and gentlemen, I'm ending this now. No, okay. <laughs> now, See you guys. As it, as it is, hello. As it has been a few weeks, I would like the cast to reintroduce themselves. So name the name of your character and what are you? Starting with our lovely King Face Crush. What is your character's name, and what oh, are you? I, uh, I play Marcus. Marcus is a beast hunter heart uh, inspired by the Norse wolf Fenris. Love it. Uh, Ray. Yes. Who I, are you playing? I am playing Perrin. Perrin is a, 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 a wind wing, um, and he is a, a Former trust fund baby who's just been born into reborn into nothing. So. Milagros. Hello. Who are you playing? I am playing our resident fuck up, uh, Will Gafortis, <laughs> uh, the <laughs> fairest Gendarva, <laughs> um, who would probably be voted off the island <laughs> if the botlin <laughs> came to a vote. <laughs> um, you know, it's just. It's just doing their fucking best and it's not working. And then finally our little shit lord. Uh so who are you playing? <laughs> I, 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 I'm playing Lucy Virus Smiles. I am a fairest mare skin darkling and I would be pushing the fact of having Will kicked off the island because I'm a petty bitch. Uh you mean a darkling mirror skin treasured. Treasured? Right. It was treasured, not fairest. My apologies. Everything yeah, else work, though. Y'all can go ahead and add to the cry counter. All right. Okay. Anyways, last where we left off, uh, y'all were having spaghetti night in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm drunk. Yeah, yeah. you promised. I uh, you Iris promised you a dance. Yeah, she did. Mm-hmm. And y'all don't seem to like Crystal for some reason. No, I don't mind her. I think she's a bitch. I don't mind her. She uh, wanted I, to eat cup noodles. That's a good sign. Yeah, By she likes way, cup noodles. Just to let you know, so it never goes away, Titties was clipped. Yes. Oh, my Here fucking God. Good. Thank you. Good. You know, yes. Hi, guys. This is what I get paid to do. Yes. <laughs> yes. She loves us for it. Uh, most of the time. <laughs> love, is, love is a strong word. <laughs> love is a strong word. I do love y'all, though, in all honesty. Anyways, hi, I have all of my notes here. I just had to pick them up because I flew, I flew them. I threw them on the ground. Jesus Christ. I cannot speak today. Words are hard. Yes, Ray, is there any announcements that need to be said right quick? So, ladies and gentlemen, always remember, we are trying to get to that glorious, glorious of 1,000 followers here on Twitch. We're at 988 followers. When we hit 1,000 followers, we have something to give you if you are one of those followers, and that is this, the D&D Core Set, which is the Player's Guide, the Monster's Manual, the DMG, and the GM Screen. This is the limited edition version of the Core Set. So instead of having the standard covers on the books, it has the uh, foil embossed covers. So they're shiny, they're sparkly, they look like nothing else uh, under the sun that you will see at the game store, so you don't have to write your name in Sharpie on the edge, because you'll know who's trying to steal your books. Um, also, if you want to enter, if you were entering, oh, we got raided? Mm -hmm. oh, Who you, raided us? Lord Games. Hi, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, we just started. Ooh. Nice to see you. Hi, we just started. Yep, we, yeah, good timing. We just got started. Um, but also, uh, we were going to be giving away this which is called the Scarab, um, and it was a ship we were giving away from Loot Studios Minis. Um, they make uh, STLs that can be printed, so the only way you get this mini if you have a 3D printer. Um, I may still give that away, but I'm not going to do the drawing for it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a random pick from all 1,988 followers, 990 now. If we get 10 more, we hit 1,000. Uh, but 990 followers, I'm going to do a random drawing from everyone in the follower group, and that's how we're going to pick the winner for this. Also, okay. 
I'm going to do one other thing. For everyone who has ever entered any of our contests throughout this entire year, I am going to put together a master list. And from that master list, I am going to put all those names in a hat. And those names are going to go into a drawing for that giant 3D printed GM screen. Love it. Now, if you guys have never seen it, I'm going to be put, I'm going to try and put it up on break. Um, I don't have any photos of it. I only have a video right now. Um, but this is a literal 18 inch tall, three foot long GM screen that looks like a castle wall. And each one of the towers is a dice tower. One of them can face your players, and that one has a demon's head on it. And the other one faces towards you, so you can do private rolls. And of course, if you want to them to see it when you kill them, you can also roll it through the demon's head, and the players will see the rolls. Um, at the top of every single one of the parapets, there are clips for holding uh, initiative markers. And there is trays and cubby holes and everything in the back of the screen. And there is a pen and pencil holder on the end. It's got everything you need to GM and to be protected when your players throw things at you when you do that wonderful TK. Hey, uh, you need to switch mine and Seb's cameras because apparently I'm Seb and Seb is me. Oh, I have the power Seb, now! You're running the show today! <laughs> Let's go! Let's go. Let's go. First go. action will die. So, for those who are new here, hello! This is an 18 plus stream. We do go over some very adult themes. Uh, this is a per personal horror kind of story. Uh, this is Changeling the Lost. So if you're not 18, then you're 12, please leave. Um, because I do not want to be responsible for your parents yelling at me. Um, Trust us, no one would call us responsible. No. Responsible. Also, yeah. this is not an advice channel. So anything that happens during this game, this is not actual advice in doing so. Anyways, for those who are new here, last time on Bristol Lost, the Freehold got attacked. Three of the well-known members of the Freehold passed away. The general of the Summer Court, a guard of the Spring Court, and the recurring monarch of the Winter Court passed away defending the Freehold. Y'all met Crystal, who is now apparently the new monarch of the Winter Court. All y'all seem to hate her for some reason. Um, I don't. However, Will Tefortis seems to blame herself for everything that has happened at the Freehold. And yeah, because that's think, true. Thinks that the attack... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'll stop. I'll stop. <laughs> Hi, I'm professional. <laughs> I'm not it. <laughs> she seems to think the attack on the freehold was her fault due to relaying some information to somebody else in the freehold that she may not have done things. Uh, so far, the suspicion is currently on Apple or Crystal for being the traitor of the freehold. Apple is a wizened brewer, and Crystal is a elemental snowskin. So, meanwhile, back in the kitchen, there are everybody has met up in the kitchen for spaghetti night because Iris feels like spaghetti is a good time for depression and sadness. And we have a very drunk Marcus, a trying to, if I remember, Celeste came down with y'all as well. Mm -hmm. Celeste, who is trying to calm down after almost choking out the new um, reigning monarch of the Winter Court, Septus is partially drunk himself somewhere who knows where he is. And the rest of y'all are in the kitchen eating spaghetti, and um, Altier will be walking into the kitchen before too long. Oh, Did open I get scene. Celeste to finally eat spaghetti after I basically said I would let her kill me if she... As long as she ate spaghetti. Yes. She so. did eat the spaghetti because she, the thought of choking you out was so, like, perfect for her at the moment. Like the fun choking out or the not fun choking out? Is there a difference? I don't think there's a difference for Celeste. <laughs> you know, uh, not like, for that's, Celeste. That's that's also, Virus did lose a staring contest with Lumi, so that's Lumi yes. has his plate. Yeah. He sure oh, yeah, did. That, that is true. That is true. Yeah. Also, Lumi, by the way, is our lovely hedge beast who is a hobgoblin in the shape of a wolf very smart but also oh so stupid at the exact same time 
It's a You're the smartest dog dumbass dog. I've ever met. Smartest dumbass. Now. I'm just eating Sketty. I don't have I anything eat, important yeah. to contribute. So, Iris is trying to bring up a conversation because you mentioned that you wanted to dance, and Iris is like, well, when do you want to go dancing? I'm pretty sure we could find a line dancing bar somewhere. Uh, Marcus is, like, not even listening to her. He's he's now, like, spinning. He's trying to get the perfect spin on the spaghetti noodles, like that, that movie quality-esque. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, we love that. And you can tell, like, he tr- fucks it up, throws it back on the plate, tries I again. I just want to see Mark nudge a meatball over to Marcus definitely does it. As soon as he <laughs> realizes that Iris is talking to him, he's going to, like, lady in the tramp it. Iris is very confused in this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Is is that is that for me? Is that for Lumi? <laughs> yeah, it, it's you know from that that uh the, that movie with the dogs. Would you even know about the movies for the dogs? It wasn't even out in the, when you went into the hedge. Yeah, yeah it, it was. was. Yeah, yeah, it was. Lady in the Lady Tramp the came Tramp out came before nineteen. Yeah, Lady in the Tramp is old as fuck. Lady in the it? Tramp is definitely before the nineties. Hold on, we are going to confirm 1955. this. Oh my god, it is 1955. Oh, no, she doesn't Holy believe shit. me. <laughs> <laughs> what would you do? Okay. What he's an I old know? man, but he's not that old, okay? Oh my god. Oh, I showed the bald head. <laughs> <laughs> so. Oh, I love Lady and the Tramp. That's, that's one of my favorite movies. Okay, so she'll get her fork, take the new ball, and start munching on it. However, Celeste is like, that's that. fucking gross. <laughs> and just like, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at her like dead in the eyes. I'm Actually, gonna be like, these... break brawl. Oh god, oh, break. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first Ooh, of the night. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me get my four freaking dice. <laughs> Yeah, roll strength brawl. You are kicking. Yeah, she's already temperamental right now, so this is not the wisest decision you are making this evening. I missed what he did. I kicked her under the table. I got I got two successes. Can I use some of those to pull it? (laughs) Uh, she doesn't feel it. (laughs) She just looks over. At me? Yeah. I got you, bitch. I give her that look like... What? Okay, bird legs. Wow. The obvious one. Mm-hmm. I want to look at Celeste and be Whatever. like, what are you talking about? These meatballs are fucking side. delicious. No, I'm talking about y'all's little PDA moment over in the corner over there. I'm I'm still arguing that these meatballs are delicious, and Marcus is just going to go back to eating, <laughs> just completely ignoring what Celeste is saying. He either gets it and doesn't care, or it, it's actually a dumbass, and nobody will know what. Actually, you know what? Shall we see how much of a dumbass you actually are? Yes. What am I doing? All right. What am I rolling? What am I that, doing? Lay right. it on me. Actually, we're going to do a um, wit insight. No, is insight a thing in here? I don't know. Uh, boss. When you are mixing up other World of Darkness, other darkness sheets. At the that, that, there is not an insight. Yeah, when you have too M, many World you, of Darkness M, sheets, because you're you tell me game. what dice to roll, and I'll roll them. Yeah. Okay. So definitely wits, and wits. then actually, hold on. I actually have this in my notes. Hold on. Aha! Yay! Uh, Aha! Because I had to write down things because what I'm smart. All those 27,000 pages of empathy. That's what I was. What's empathy? Oh, fucking sweet. I actually have something. Yeah. So proud of you. Doesn't fucking help me get a success. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. I got I got zip, zero, zilch. You have no idea what's going on. You are head empty, no thoughts. Uh, complete himbo moment. Got it. Yes. But those are some damn good meatballs. Iris makes some damn good meatballs. That's the truth. It's the real way to my heart. Through my yep. stomach. 
Absolutely. Always. Always, always. Um, lovely Will, how are you feeling in this moment? Terrible. Um, <laughs> are you I'm eating? So glad you asked. Okay, so you know that thing that like little kids will do where like they'll break up their food and move it to try and make it look like they're eating? <laughs> yes. I have done this, so yes. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just um uh, and if anyone starts being like, "Come on," then then they're like, "Oh well, I have to I have to break it up into bites and then make sure that all the bites are the same size." Um, so they have to allot noodles to meatballs and get the ratio the perfect, perfect ratio. Yes, they have to get the, <laughs> the perfect ratio. Does, does Marcus notice this or? <laughs> um, actually, since you are a little hammered, um, I need you to roll. <laughs> God damn it! Making me pull out my notes again. <laughs> Roll wits composure for me, please. But you're getting a minus two to your dice pool. Wits composure with a minus two. Yep. Okay, I got a whole total of nothing. <laughs> you are engrossed in this goddamn spaghetti. Sorry, Will. Easy. No himbo saving your no, ass it's okay. today. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> himbo to the rescue. Actually, himbo I... is busy with food. Oh, yes. I mean, absolutely. Um, Altier walks in before too long, and he just looks at you, Will. I mean, oh, why no. aren't you eating? I have to. I have to get the ratios right. Uh huh. I'll yep. sit here until you eat. De define eat like like does does one bite count a bite counts okay it's like it. this much <laughs> <laughs> like... uh, uh, a little bit mm -mm, a little bit more <laughs> lord you're you're pulling one of those things that my niece does and it, it just like oh <laughs> I love being an aunt, but sometimes, good lord, those kids, they'll find a way to get out of eating. It's its a thing. Yep. Ugh. So. Especially when it's, like, something they don't really like. Yep. So Altier starts pulling out a set of four keys and just starts handing each of you a key. Are they all like the same? They are all the same. Okay. These regular house keys type thing? Yep. So these are the keys to your new hollow. You're actually four houses down from where Iris lives. Okay. Um the freehold we own part of that neighborhood. Iris will be babysitting. Got it. I'm gonna uh, Marcus is gonna stop like mid mid grab. And like, look up at Iris dead serious and be like, You gonna make more sketty? Yeah, I'll make anything. It's gonna like nod, like, This ain't so bad, and just like <laughs> keep eating. Um, I'm gonna roll something for her to see if she misunderstands the situation. We're after both I throw my after Great. I throw my water bottle off the desk. Um, as you do. As you do. As I do. All right. I need her to roll wits empathy. Oh, God. Oh, she's not that bad at that. Okay. Hold on. I might be okay. No. You're the storyteller. It does whatever you want it to do. But I'm still going to roll for stuff because I like this out. She's a dumbass. Um... <laughs> yeah, checks out. She is taking the situation wrong, and she just raised a brow, and then her her cheeks start to change different colors for a second, and then her hair goes very vibrant colors for a bright moment, like bright, bright fire engine red, bright neon violet. Did she like think that was hitting color. on her? Yep. <laughs> Does Marcus know she thinks he's hitting on her? There's got. Oh, there's no fucking way. There's oh, no wait, way. There's no way. Hold on. Hold on, Dice. Can, can I, I, can I, 
Can I spend Dice. points to make him fail harder if he gets any success? <laughs> oh my god, no. Because, like... Come on, I gotta roll... so much funnier. Hey, guys, uh, she has a minus to her dice pool. <laughs> I got Uno Moss. You beat her, though. You're able to tell she's really flustered. Narratively, he understands emotionally she got like flushed, like that makes sense, but he doesn't know what about. Like, he's like, I guess making Skeddy's heart or something. I don't know. And like, he's just gonna keep eating this food. Anyways, you'll have your own place that is also magically attuned. So, y'all have your own little hideaway for your motley. Al Altier is going on. Just so you're aware, um, we do have a nameless morning in three days for Jasper, Daisy, and Ash. It's a funeral. Marcus will raise his hand like we're in school. Yes, Marcus. Do we already have like beds and furnishings and shit? Yes. It Did is you fully get Lumi a bed? Lumi has the nicest of beds. Not even a response. Just goes back to what he's doing. Yes, it will be held by the Winter Court and Crystal will be heading this event. Are we... Oh. We're living there... You have to pay your own your utilities, but you don't have rent. It's called getting a job. That's why we got the IDs, my, my man. I have a job. I work in retail. Unfortunate. Is there Wait, any like way we can get? And he got us a driver's license. Correct. If we had skills in our previous life, could we get a corresponding? You'll have to get. You'll have to get the certifications, which we will pay for. Okay, but what if I would also, because I don't have them anymore, I would also need a lot of hours. You will have to do those hours again. Okay. Unless you can bribe Lyric, but I doubt you can. Why would I need to bribe Lyric? Lyric is very good at forging things if need be. <laughs> so I didn't tell weird. you shit. Altier's like, I didn't tell you shit. I really don't want to get smacked by her cane. I have no idea what you're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> In case I did run the risk of letting it slip, and also give a to win her to my side in order to get her to do. She likes vinyls, like old vinyls, old classical vinyls, classical, classical, or like Buddy classical. Holly and the Crickets, classical. No, classical, classical. She no hates way. Mozart. She hates Mozart. Don't get her Mozart. Got it. Out of character, this is the most engaged parents been in like anything. <laughs> parents just like I can bribe her for that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> parents like. The parents wants to like, get back in the cockpit. Yeah. He wants to fly. I want that thing, and I want it now. This matters to me. Let's go. All right, fucking yeah. now. Let's I go. actually care about this. It's your money, and you need it now. <laughs> it's my <laughs> hours, and I'm logging them now. Sorry. <laughs> Roms. All right, so, uh, yeah, Perrin's going to basically be <laughs> sitting there going, hell am I going to get old vinyl album? He looks over Celeste. Is there a flea market around here? There's several of them, you fucking dumbass. There's also a vinyl record shop around here. She's 
Excuse me? Send me some money. Do I look like I'm a sugar mama? The but antennas, I am like the fluffy, like the fluffy antennas on the top of her head start like flicking irritably. And the crown that is like embedded in her head because lovely summer court thing. Uh yeah. it starts flaming up in irritation. Hey. At least now you have a visible notification when you're What's your armor? I don't have any. Here lies no, your what's your no, what's your um, defense? My defense <laughs> I think is a three, but let me double check. Three. Oh boy. All right, I get to roll five dice. You might go unconscious, Perrin. It's just foreplay. <laughs> Perrin is flirting with death right now. When is he not? Is, is, and her name is, there any, is there any other like way to you. flirt? Like um, Perrin is an adrenaline I have to, junkie. Hold on. I need to get two more dice. Parents an adrenaline junkie. That is very much why he is <laughs> so attracted to Celeste, because she could kill him at any second. <laughs> um, so far that is three damage at the moment. Uh it is um superficial. Bashing, sorry, bashing. Uh I got to roll another dice. Uh that's four. Okay. Four. Four bashing. She just decks you right in the fucking face. She's just annoyed. She's done. She's Mar done with your shit. Marcus has his hand up. But he's looking what? at Celeste. What? what? The fuck's a sugar mama? You know what? Why don't you ask? I'll hear what a sugar mama is. <laughs> a like sugar mama is a lady with a lot of money. Thank you, Virus. You're welcome. <laughs> Parents holding his mm. nose, and he's like, Are "You feel any better?" No. Oh shit! You have to hit me again. No, I'm not gonna feel better for the next few weeks. The summer court will be mourning for three weeks. That makes sense. I'm assuming that that means I'm not allowed to attend. No. I will probably beat you to a bloody pulp during this time. Can I put a meatball on Perrin's plate? <laughs> you can put a bloody meatball on Perrin's plate. <laughs> Perrin just looks at the meatball. Thank you. Virus, what are you doing? He He's just kind of sitting there watching all this unfold. Can you roll me a wits composure for me, please? Uh, I can. Question is, I would... should I? You should. Oh, no. Why? Why did you change your tone of voice? Hold on, ma'am. <laughs> I'm used to it at this point. Uh, one success. Um, you happen to see someone like peeking in the doorway. You, I don't think you've met Apple. No, yeah, he was with, he woke me up when I was passed right. out, and Apple was yeah. definitely yeah, in the Apple, room. Yeah, I farted yeah. on his face. He sure mm -hmm. did, I punched him in the nuts. <laughs> yeah, and he got a Charlie horse, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Apple is peeking in and then just quickly runs off. I was... However, you saw a glimpse of of a lock of red hair in her hands. Uh, a familiar lock of red hair? Absolutely. <sighs> Myers is just going to stand up abruptly and start heading in where he saw Apple going. Did you just say execute order 66 in the chat? Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> I would never. You would never. So you go outside and you you go out of the kitchen. 
Um, you see Crystal walking down the hall, coming from the left. Apple is running down the hall to the right. I'm going to the right. Hey, don't run. Was that to me? Nope, just in general. That was Crystal yelling. Yeah, he's just going to keep going. So you are going to be following Apple. I need you to roll for me. Fuck. Are you being sneaky about it or blatant? Oh, you're being blatant about it. Okay. So for this, since you are technically tracking her down, um, this will be a um, resolve and survival. Hmm. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that's not great. Okay. Uh, do you have minus to your dice pools? No, luckily not, but still not good. Okay. None. You're not able to keep up with her. You uh, turned out a hall and you don't see her. Uh, he will go back to his room real quick then. You go to your room, you notice your door is wide open. He lock, will go. The lock. The door handle, missing. He, he's going to go to where he had placed the, the things he was given. The uniform's there. The vial's shattered on the ground. So there's porcelain pieces and glass on the ground. And... There's a note stabbed right through the uniform with the knife. He, he is going to uh, get the note and mm -hmm. read it. Tick tock, tick tock. She is now joining my games of hide and seek. Sincerely, the Duchess of Smiles. All right, so now he's going to take that knife, kind of, mm -hmm. kind of stash it in, in, in waste. Actually, no, he, he's fucking, he doesn't even need that. He's going to just put the knife in him? Ah, uh, yes, you just melt yeah. around the knife. Yep. Love, and, we love mirror skins here. Oh, of course. <laughs> and uh, he's going to continue looking for Apple. Okay, so that will be a wit's composure. Yep. Oh, wit's composure now. Okay. Yes. Uh, a little better. Do I have a... Th I, I, do I have a thing? I feel like I have a thing. No. Uh, 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 uh. You know what? I will use my... my uh, my treasured move thing. What is it? Uh, once per scene, spend one glamour to retake to retake one failed stamina resolve or composure roll. Uh, the only exemption is to the roll is uh, like derangement. Shit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can do that. All right. So I just re-roll. Yep. Okay. Re-roll your failures. That, 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 all of them. Yeah. Re-roll. All right. Aha! Uh -huh. There is a 10. I will re-roll the 10. Yes, we love our uh -huh. 10 again rule. All right, I have the 10. So one success. Yes. Before too long, you see Apple going outside and is heading to a motorcycle? A little, like a little one, not the really big ones, but ones that are designed for smaller people. All right, so it's going to take that knife. And he's going to throw it at the bike. All right. So for this, I need you to roll me a dex athletics, please. Um, you are taking a minus two. 
Uh, can, can I not somehow convince you on weaponry? Uh, no, because you yeah. are throwing a ranged weapon. Ah, okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, you said strength as athletics? Dex athletics. Dex athletics, okay. Uh, I said nigga. Ah, uh, that is unfucking fortunate. I have a chance roll then. Oh, shit. You gotta get a 10, if I remember correctly. Um, fuck, okay. That's all over the place. Nope. So you throw the knife, it goes wide, and it embeds in the dirt right next to the motorcycle. Apple turns to look to see where that knife came from, and her eyes widen looking at you. And there is, there's murder in his eyes. She drops what she has on her hands, hops on the motorcycle, and just fucking goes. He will head to what head to where she was and picked up what she dropped. She dropped the lock of hair. Okay. It is braided up. Um, there was nothing else dropped. Okay. He will pick that up and he will head back towards the kitchen because he knows that's where everyone, majority of people were that he saw last. So I was like, so when shall I take y'all to the freehold? Also, we're in the process of getting y'all a car for y'all to use. Ray, you're muted. Baron says, what type of car? Not an expensive one. When 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 she happen. says we're getting a car, Marcus is gonna look over at Will. Will knows they're being looked at and they're just staring. At we're probably wedding. gonna get you like a truck or a jeep or something. Psst. Psst. What? Can you not hit me with this one? Marcus will be like smiling like a <laughs> shitty little like <laughs> I can't make any promises, but I'll try. And out here, just pat your back. That's all we can ask for. <laughs> is the area walkable at all? Uh, it is walkable, but it's going to take you a little bit to get to where you need to go. So it's preferred to use a vehicle. Okay. We'll get you to get your driver's license. All right. Oh, Will froze. That is a way to freeze. Bye. Um, we'll, we'll miss you. Way to freeze. Baby, come back. Baby, come back. Um, so <laughs> parent is going to basically just sit there and like, uh, like a truck? Mm-hmm. Okay. And... If you want your own car, you need to I buy it with your own money. Any... Working on it. Mm. Oh, that, that, that wasn't necessarily towards you. Select. Oh, there. there she goes. Oh, no. We are missing a player for at the moment, so we will still continue. Um, Celeste gets up. I'm going to the fucking bar. And then she is just heading out. Is this when I would step back in? Yeah, Celeste just walks around you. She doesn't shove you like she normally does. I, uh, I wouldn't leave just yet. Why? Because I just discovered something that you guys might find useful. Were you guys curious about there being a particular mole w within the freehold? I'm sorry, what? I will repeat myself. Were you guys no, curious no, on no, whether or not no, there, was a, there was a mole in, in the freehold? Virus. That was rhetorical, yeah. you fucking dumbass. I don't fucking care. 
You are not talking to me like that right now. Do you want me to explain, or are we just going to keep going on this back and forth? Okay, just fucking explain, so I can it's go to the fucking, fucking bar. Apple. What? Yeah. Why Marcus are you guys gonna like turn? Uh, Marcus will like start paying attention now. Like, hold on. What? How, how are, are you a hundred percent sure? Percent sure it was Apple? All right. Can I explain myself? Yes. All right. So while everyone was having fun with their fucking 101 Dalmatians Lady and the Tramp Spaghetti meeting, uh, I happened to catch a bead of Apple watching us. And in her hand, and it'll pull out the lock of hair. Okay, what, what does that have to do with anything? This was with my shit. I go back into my room, find it, the case that it was in completely shattered, a knife with a note through a uniform that I was just given of an individual that I am trying to get out of the fucking hedge threatening me. Also the fact of, you know, I caught her outside on a motorbike trying to hightail the fuck out of here. Uh, you see Celeste just you can tell the anger is starting to boil over. I need a fucking minute. And she just walks off. He'll kind of lean in, in, into the, the kitchen dining area. You guys got that, right? And Crystal right, right behind him. Everyone's like looking at him. Yeah, it starts <laughs> to get cold behind you. And Crystal's like, oh, I heard it. Looks to her. I wasn't necessarily talking to you. I was talking to them. It does involve me, considering I am ahead of a court. Oh, good for you. But you weren't here when this went down, so while, sure, you are part of the court, you weren't here, so it doesn't pertain to you at the moment. It does. Anything that happens with the freehold involves everybody. So then where the fuck were you? I was in medical because Celeste tried to choke me out, if you recall. No, 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 no. before that. When I was getting went, When everything oh. went the fuck down. Um, I was working my job at the funeral home. Kind of ironic. Not gonna lie. Uh-huh. Marcus is going to, like, lean over the iris and be like, this is awkward, right? I was like, yeah, this is awkward. Do you just want to go? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, like, I'm, done, I'm done eating, and I'm kind of uh, sober now, so. You see Luby has, like, her head in, like, somebody else's plate eating somebody else's food. I don't. That it's the less. It's the less. That's, she's gone anyways. Yep. Uh, is Will coming back? Okay. Uh, okay. So one of our players is having power issues right now. So uh, uh -huh. it's going to be a little bit if she comes back at all tonight. Got it. Got it. So Iris is like, okay, why don't we all get you settled in your place? We'll, we need to think with clear heads. Okay. Sleep helps with that are you sending me the bed okay mom and i'll like get up from the table iris and cannot compute <laughs> it's like so who's giving us a ride i will give you a ride i mean y'all are four houses down yeah come on virus I'm at the entrance. I mean, like, it's like, I, I'm over here. I'm waiting on you guys, technically. You have shit to go grab. Iris is about to start packing up the spaghetti, and Alter's like, I got it. Just, just go. And Iris just gives a little thumbs up, and she's like, all right, let's go. Come on, Lumi. Lumi just pulls her head out of the spaghetti and just looks at you expectantly. Uh, I'll nod. Lumi trots after Iris.
So y'all get to the car. Uh, Lumi is given the front seat. Which car are we in? <laughs> Our little Volkswagen Beetle. <laughs> the three of you in the back seat. <laughs> no, no. I'm in the trunk, which is in the front, which means I have front seat. <laughs> I guess, yeah, me and Volkswagen Beetle. I guess me, Perrin, and Will are getting real close. Um, I was like, um, Virus, why are you getting in the trunk? So I have room. And so they have room. Okay. If Marcus, you just want to be in the trunk. Marcus is just squeezing like Will and Perrin to the side, trying his best to like fit in the middle. Louie just looks over the back seat, just so happy that they got the front seat. <laughs> I'm comfortable up here. It's just nice. I'll turn and look at Perrin and be like, sorry, buddy. Higher to me. Bees into the backseat. <laughs> so eventually before too long, um, y'all pull up to a kind of like a cottage style house. Um, one floor, really nice, well kept. Um Flowers in the front yard that are starting to bloom. Lots of daffodils, to be exact. That's usually the sign of spring. Um, fenced backyard. Has a nice wraparound porch. Has a rocking chair on the porch. And ours is like, ta-da! Parents like, nice. Mm-hmm. It's furnished, but y'all can change the furniture however you want to. Y'all got, like, the essentials. Also, you have a fridge full of groceries. Mm -hmm. Aaron goes up and tries his key. It unlocks. I'm gonna go to my room. So, the inside is a little different. So the moment that you unlock the key, you are in a foyer, but the moment you step past the foyer, it kind of reminds of how the freehold is set up in some aspects. So there is a hall, there's a nicer kitchen, a really nice kitchen that is a little bit different. It seems too perfect. Um, there is also a door that has a bunch of locks going down it. On the far end. Aaron walks up to the door. Uh, we have a murder closet. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, no, um, that's a entry to the hedge. In the house. <laughs> now, why? Why? <laughs> Um, so the way that hollows work is this is a way you can restore glamour, uh, your magic anyways, but it's in, y'all are technically in the mortal realm and in the hedge at the exact same time. You're in a weird in-between space. Okay, so does anyone else agree that aside from like the 15 locks on that door, we might need to just like wedge a fucking door underneath the handle? Go start getting bricks and plaster. Um, Will the locks actually do anything? Will the door yes. actually do anything? Um, the locks, um, if you don't wear gloves, um, they're made out of cold iron. Okay, so I miss that what we are, that's bad. Yeah. All right, so good. So just don't fuck with the door. Got it. However, if you hear knocking on the door and screaming check through the peephole apparently the door, there's a peephole there is a peephole what and marcus looked through the peephole yeah uh sure you look through the peephole can you roll our lovely <laughs> perception check you see someone staring back <laughs> uh pressed up against the other two side. what's composure two successes two. You look through it and you see the brambles that you're familiar with, but there's a bunch of fog swirling around and a bunch of glowing mushrooms that seem to be moving around out there. They, the mushrooms are walking. 
Oh, that's not weird. Then I'll close it. Yeah, I'm no. Like, no, I'm not opening that door for anyone. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh, even if it's your friend. No, because that's involving me going there myself, not oh, <laughs> I'm banging on the door. There's a dad Got him. Uh, what if she comes here banging on the door, begging to let her in? It's a trap. There's going to be a series of questions when that happens, and we will get to that when we get to that. Okay. Anyways, um, you all have your own rooms. You have your own kitchen. You have a library. Um, you have an office. The office has a nice computer and the internet and all sorts of stuff. I'm four doors down that way. If you need anything, just knock on the door. Um, if you see other cars out there, I do run a bed and breakfast, so I may have clients. Have neighbors? Yes, um, your neighbors, um, they're also just like us. Oh, okay. Anything weird happens. Mm -hmm. So, so you're, you're, you're. Um, you've met. Is that their name? No. <laughs> That's an interesting individual. I've already met Larry. Um, Sybil lives on that side. And. Um, Jasper used to live on the other side. But Altair lives there. As well. Uh, now, now would be the moment that I would look at Will, but I'm not going to get any interaction back. So, like... Is it the eyebrow, eyebrow waggle? Mm. <laughs> Mm. So I, oh, yeah. you have Next a bed and hookup. breakfast. Yes. So you live there, mm -hmm. and then people like come to stay there, right? So like, my hollow is in the very back of the building. So the rest of the house is a two-story house. That's the bed and breakfast, and then when you go past the which doors, is in the in which is which is okay. I was like, mm -hmm. are you inviting just mortals into the hollow? No. Ah, that's okay. Thank you. I was. Mm -hmm. Y'all are welcome over for dinner at any time. Wait, a thought Thank just you. occurred to me. Yes. Excluding you, Iris, since you're not technically living here, though, depending on the answer here, you might kind of be living here. Uh, does any one of us know how to even fucking cook? I can make food that's slightly edible. I know how to make mac and cheese. I know how to throw shit in a pot. Okay, well, Iris, I guess you're going to kind of be living here as well. <laughs> Does she have a choice in the matter? What? Just write a list of what y'all want for dinner that week, and then I'll try to make it happen. All right, cool. Is there a whiteboard on the fridge? There is a whiteboard on the fridge. Can Marcus just go over and write steak on the on the on the whiteboard? Yeah. Um. What kind of steak? New York strip. All of it. <laughs> All of it. New York then you strip. Have just written cow. I'll erase what I wrote and I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll write cow. <laughs> All right, you, you you guys do realize that we can't have steak every fucking night, right? I'm gonna look at him like, excuse me. No, if I do a steak dinner, it's gonna be steak, a loaded baked potato, and asparagus and cornbread. Well, I, I'm just, just, I'm just saying, just for the sake of variety. I'm just like, don't get me wrong. Mark is a right. Potatoes and cornbread in like small twelve point <laughs> at the bottom. <laughs> okay, so we'll do 
a steak dinner one of the nights, and I guess I'll have to wing it the rest of the week. Uh, whatever you can put together is. The beggars can't be choosers. If yeah, you're right. making us food, I ain't bitching. Yeah. She just has a little shit eating grin, so that means I can make vegetarian food one night. Yeah. Can me and Lumi both have like disappointed looks on our faces? Lumi looks so sad, and you hear this loud, like wailing husky scream coming from Lumi as she throws herself on the ground. Oh my god, can we not? (laughs) I will I will pick Lumi up and I'm going to take Lumi to our Lumi is playing dead. Lumi's playing dead. (laughs) Phenomenal. Phenomenal. I'm going to my room. Once you're in your room, there is a nice, nice fluffy bed for Lumi on the floor. Plop. Lumi is content. There is fluffy bed. There, your bed is also really low to the ground. I didn't think this through. I don't know what I want to do now. I just, uh, <laughs> I guess, I guess Marcus will just sit down and contemplate his life. <laughs> you're contemplating your life. I was just like, is he okay? Uh, fuck if I know. I was going to say, <laughs> yeah, hours now? No, it's uh, been three, like... three days. Three days. I'm ass- it's been 84 years. <laughs> I'm assuming they're okay. They're usually pretty loud about just about everything. Not okay, we'd probably know. Mm-hmm. Also, sweet tea special. No. Uh-huh. Sweet tea special. Oh, sweet tea special. Oh. King, it doesn't count if you're the one redeeming it. <laughs> yes, it does. It, it sure does. Come just, he just wanted to stretch. Uh, <sighs> then stretch, damn it. <laughs> nah, but uh, Virus will then look to Iris and be like, out of curiosity, do you have spare locks that's not of just the door handle variety? Um, I should have some at the B&B. I can go look. Okay, cool. Because considering with what just happened, I now need to apparently take much precaution now. Yeah. Um. I'm sorry that happened. I'm not really sure what happened fully, but I'm sorry. I'm fairly certain I called it a B and E, not a B and B, and that's a very different thing. No, it's bacon and eggs, man. It's fine. <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna head to my home. Um, actually, hold on. She'll go to the whiteboard, write her personal cell phone number on the whiteboard. This is my personal cell phone number. All right, were we given cell phones? Yes, you were. Okay. And also, if I don't answer my cell phone, she'll write the uh, phone number for the B&B. Baron kind of looks at her and he says, What type of jobs are there? Um, most things you could think of. Well, I'm just saying we don't have degree. We don't um, have anything else. Speak for yourself. I mean, this is technically like you don't really need a degree for most jobs out here. Got it. Granted, the only one I think may have a degree that is still technically alkable is that one. Points at um, virus. I mean, if, it's, if he has access to his degree... That's... Um, Lyric, Lyric can actually change the information over because he actually... Because his is recent, not 20, 30 years old. Ah. <laughs> the benefit of only being kidnapped for six months? Yep. Hmm. She's like, well, you all have a wonderful evening. Oh, wait, one more thing. Uh, yes. in, in the office, did, did you guys have to like stash some generic ass books in there? Uh, yeah, 
what kind of generic ass books? Um, novels. Anything in particular in regards of what we are and of that variety of things? Um, basics. I can work with that. Um, as I said, if you need anything, just let me know. Will do. Um, good night. And then she'll call down the hall. Good night, Marcus. I was about to say, like, can Marcus sense that she's leaving and like just yes. just story tell, like, poke his head out. Bye, yeah. Iris. Thanks for the ride. Uh huh. And she will leave y'all to your own devices in your lovely little hollow. What time is it? It is starting to get to nine o'clock at night. Now fuck this. I'm going to bed. Okay. Um. <laughs> Since you're going to bed, can you do a... Um, Punish for everything I do. Resolve and composure roll for me, please. Da, 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 da. Resolve, compose... Oh, okay. Yeah? How about that? Uh, three? Three successes? Yeah. You're fine. Nothing happens. You sleep soundly. Okay. You sleep soundly that night. This is the best night's sleep you've had in a while. Do I dream? Or is it like yeah, you go do to dream. bed, wake up the next morning? You do dream. What, it's a pleasant dream. What kind of pleasant dream would you be having? Uh, so, is there one? And by pleasant, I mean by any forms of pleasant. Marcus and Lumi yeah. are sitting in the middle of, like, the greenest possible, like, all the tourist photos of Ireland green, like, grassy yeah. everything. Yeah. Um, and then there's just, like, clouds bringing plates of, like, five-star Michelin, like, <laughs> meals. Like a little yeah. poofy cloud, like just sets it down, and and we're just sitting there, watching the sunrise. And beautiful, beautiful. You Marcus's is... happiness is is simple and fucked up at the same time. Uh, what do the other two do? Uh, Perrin is going. To... You said that there's internet, right? Yes, there is. Is there a computer? Yes, there is. Perrin is going to go try and. Figure out the World Wide Web. Right? Need... How how would there be internet without the computer? Because your phones. <laughs> you I need in your house you... and broadcast out the I need you to phone roll. Phone. I need you to roll a wits computers for me. Can Can I help him? Computers is a skill. Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, oh, it sure is. In. I don't um, have yeah, you can. Um, yeah, you can help him. So you get an additional uh, two die because uh, our lovely fella here specializes in computers. Now you lose dice if you don't have the skill, right? Correct. How many dice do you lose? Uh, it is a mental. It's so it's three. It's a four for me. I managed to keep two. Thank you for the help. You're welcome. <laughs> I got a 10, but I don't re-roll because again. I don't have a skill, right? Oh, I do? No, wait, I don't... No. Oh. It's a... Fuck it. Yeah. I'll say it. Okay. Fuck it. So I got two successes. No. <laughs> I, I feel like this whole thing is like trying to teach your, like, your older parents oh, or yeah. grandparents how to use the internet. It's like, all right, click on that. No, double click. But I don't know why we double click. I don't see anything. Where's the recording at? Is there a tape or something? No, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and what After is this? three and a half hours, you managed to connect to the internet. <laughs> three and a half, three and a half hours later, you get Microsoft Edge up while Click virus is banging his head against the wall. <laughs> the browser. I I don't know a Bowser man. No I, the. I, Okay, so now I've got this thing up you told me to window thing up, but how do we get to the internet? You're on it. Where? 
you're there, man. Congratulations. But I don't see anything that says, you know, internet. <laughs> I've, I've, had, I've had this conversation with my grandmother. I've had this conversation with my grandmother. How is this possible? <laughs> I see all these things like ads over here. What happens if I click on one of those? No, take- no. Guys, <laughs> roll me a um, resolve and composure. <laughs> this is for you to keep your fucking sanity. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it said resolve composure. Yeah. Remember, I was kidnapped in '86. Yep. <laughs> Nothing. Oh no, Liz. The best I got is an eight. That's one. <laughs> so that's one. Oh, okay. So if that's the case, I you... have... wait. Was I okay, born wait, before Perrin, but kidnapped after? You're older than me. I'm only in my. I'm only in my tw- like twenty one or twenty. Okay. So, so in the humor of everything, I thought I rolled shit, but now double looking three successes okay. oh you're able to keep your cool but you are very annoyed and this is like teaching your grandparents how to use the internet all over again okay so now now I, now that i know about the internet how do i find a job the internet okay okay <laughs> google so, we're gonna go to a quick thing called google real quick if anything, it's probably all you're probably already on that page as a default. Oh, okay. It says Google, but it's in these weird shapey things. They're not really letters. Yeah, no, that that's fine. Google does some stupid shit sometimes. It's fine. <laughs> okay. All right. It's so... like one of Google's artsy days when they're celebrating like yeah. a, an there's artist's really life, and it's page, just though. it just says Google, and there's this big long box. All right, now in the box. Huh? Click on the box. Oh, nothing happened. Do, do you see a little blinky thing in the box? Oh, yeah. All right, you are in the box. Now with the keyboard, the I thing know. with the alphabet. Oh, I, I'm just covering bases here. I at use this the point typewriter. Right All right, cool. It's one gold What's ESC? That, that's escape. It's not What's applicable CTRL? to you right now. That's control. ALT? That's alt. That, that's alt. What's this little box with the four boxes on? Do you still have a... Hold up. I'm, I'm, looking, that I'm looking at my own keyboard. What, still what, have that button? What, what box? Or what the key Windows key. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, my it, God. It, it, I don't think Windows I have key, a Windows key. It up your taskbar. We don't need to worry about that right now. Okay. So, All right. Okay. I, well, I know I see the letters and the numbers. What do I put in? Okay. So first, we're going to go to Indeed.com. So what do I put in? Indeed.com. Don't spell out dot either. Use the <laughs> use the actual period. It literally sounds like. How long does this go on? How long do you want you this three to hours. Go? I was waiting for her to be like, no, we're done. Fast forward, we're done. So after a while, you managed to do one job application. One. And it's two McDonald's. And, and so, what, what, kind of, what kind of chair do we have in the office, by the way? Um, it's one of those egg ones from like Ikea. The oh, ones God. that are yeah. Fuck, so it's not even a rolly chair? It is a rolly chair. Okay. So eventually at some point in time, Virus is just gonna grab the back of the chair and just move <laughs> move him move Baron away from the desk and just move him outside of the office. <laughs> I'm guessing y'all go to bed eventually. Yes. <laughs> no, because now now it's Virus's turn on the computer. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> Perrin, please roll a um, resolving composure. Mm-hmm. 
every time we sleep to see if we had bad dreams. I mean, y'all did go through technically something traumatic, so this triggers it. One. You're fine. What? What kind of dream do you have? Flying. You're flying through the sky. I'll say you're flying over the ocean this time. Clear skies. Enjoy every aspect of it. Everything from going down and cutting across the top of the waves to going up as high as he can and getting a, a bird's eye view. Virus. Yeah. What are you doing? Well, after the first three and a half hours of his life, he can't recover back now. Uh, he's going to the kitchen real quick and making a pot of coffee. While he's you waiting for that. All right. And he's not going to go to sleep tonight because he's doing research. Okay, I need you to roll a resolve stamina for me, though. Uh, that's fine. Do I get help because of the coffee? <laughs> one, one dice. Okay, cool. Thank you for humoring me about that. You're welcome. I am humoring. <sighs> Two successes. I will say you stay up right before dawn starts to creep over and then you just fall asleep at the desk. Okay. So what are you researching? Uh, he's trying his best to catch his ass up on everything of what they're involved with at this point. You don't find anything on the internet about it. I mean, like, you just go with, like, folklore and shit like that. And oh, yeah, you learn about cold iron being a weakness, um, yeah, just, old stories. Yeah, just generally right now, he's just going with, like, as much general basic shit. A, lot of, it, a lot of the folklore does not line up with what you went through. That's what you learn. Hmm. It's like a thousand pieces of unnecessary complete bullshit and like there's a couple gems Colonel, in yeah, there Colonel, that are like yep. uh, he also has like one of those big like yellow like manila notepads and he's just writing fucking shit. He, he's writing all this shit down so you go to sleep eventually as the sun starts to creep up can you please roll our lovely which resolve Resolve composure. Resolve composure. Uh, same fucking dice. Your your threshold is a little higher compared to everybody else's right now. I'm assuming because I stayed up later. That and uh, situations that occurred. Uh, fair enough. Hmm. Hmm. One success. Oh, you needed two. Um, um, unfortunate. You seem to wake up in a familiar room. Nice marble flooring. Dark marble flooring. Two pedestals. Facing a grand stairway. One of the pedestals is cracked in several place, places. The other one is shattered. Red hair. Bits of red hair around were the one that is shattered. Mm, okay. That I just entered. Okay. You hear the it's time for hide and seek. And you see the thing that you witnessed oh so many times. At least 30 people book it out of the castle doors. And there's Lynn. Running with them. Her hair is now in a bob shape. The long hair that she had no longer there. And then there's cracks going along her skin. 
terror is in her eyes as she books it outside. She's slower than the rest of them because she is made out of clay. So she's a little bit, unfortunately, heavier compared to the rest of them because clay has a little bit more weight to it. Yep. And you see as the Duchess of Smile starts to stand right next to you. And then she turns that big Cheshire-like grin that you know oh so well smiles. And as she looks at you, see the cost of your mistake? Bring me back what's mine and you can have her in one piece unharmed. She's not yours. She is. She is not. And I'm maybe. Gonna, and I'm going to burn this house to the fucking ground. Maybe read the fine. Maybe they need to read the fine print a little better. It's also cute using the bartender as your little fucking mole. Oh, Apple. Oh, Apple. The poor girl has no idea she's working for me. I mean, I have others out there. I'm going to enjoy breaking that fucking smile of yours. Hmm. I'd like to see you try. Oh, I will, bitch. Also, she'll point to your hand where your lovely token is for your boon. Mm. Yeah. You know, I know about that, and you, you know, granted, the girl was a little stupid of giving that to you. I will honor it. Waiting for the right time and the right reason. Hmm. So you're just gonna let Lenny here just suffer. Wow, you know, that'll be something new I can tell her and just see her cry all over again. Or I could reshape her into hairpins. That would be a delight. Hmm. I'll we'll get her a new statue partner. Who knows? He's going to form his arm into a blade and swipe at her. She just swirls in mist as she takes a step back and just like, ah, ah, ah. You don't know how to dream fight yet. You don't have the skills. And trust me, if I wanted to, I can kill you in your dreams right now. And all those times before, you're still not fucking doing it. No, I like playing games. It's a lot more thrilling. And then yet you're just going to get upset whenever I fucking make you like, look like an idiot here, too. Mm. So you have decisions to make. Just know your time's running out, though. You have four months. Out of character. Oh, you fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking. Okay. And then you wake up in a cold sweat. At the desk. I, I I feel like I need to roll something. What would you like to roll? Uh, what 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 was the normal roll you were having us do whenever we first fucking woke up? Um, same thing for dreaming. Uh, resolve composure. All right, cool. I'll I'll, I'll roll that. He's punishing himself. Yeah. <laughs> no, th this might punish all of us. In all honesty. 
<laughs> in like a minor way, though. No, yeah, okay. So he wakes up in a startled sweat, but is also still pissed off, not realizing what's going on. He cuts the computer in half. Uh, the computer is now destroyed. Yeah. Um. Um, actually, all of y'all hear, the two of you that are in your rooms, hear a loud bang and electricity fizzling. Marcus is gonna come, like, shoulder charge out the door and just, like, ready the swing at the next thing he sees. It's just bang, fizzle, and then just faintly, ah, oh, fuck. Parents, <laughs> parents standing there in the hallway, and he's got, like, a pillow in front of him because there's nothing else <laughs> um, Marcus, you see the computer is cut in half. I'm gonna like lower and I'm gonna look at Perrin and be like, the fuck were you gonna do with a pillow? <laughs> you gonna smother him to death? I don't There's nothing in my What's I gonna do? Bring the comforter instead? I'm gonna like look at virus, be like what happened to the computer? The boogeyman coming out of the computer now? Did it get a virus? Get a tink. <laughs> Here's parent, parents say that. It's hoping that he's saying it because he's probably still like half asleep. And it's like, yeah, that. Man, that's good. bad. Good. good one. Well, excellent. Well, well. You really got him, bud. And I'll like pat virus on the on the shoulder. I love this. Can I can I roll to lie? <laughs> roll to lie. Yeah, sure. Roll to lie. Can I roll to see through the bullshit? Um, so if I remember lying, lying has to do with subterfuge, if I remember correctly. Yep, there it is. Um, so this will be a manipulation subterfuge. Ah, I am fucking great at that. What do I roll to counter subterfuge? Uh, I need you to roll. This will be your insight check. Uh, you are rolling wit's empathy. Gucci. Do, do I? Should I? What? <laughs> Debating if I add a, want to add a willpower to this. Uh, if you do a willpower, you need to mark it off your chart temporarily. Right. And then you get an additional three die. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Sure. Why not? <laughs> oh, shit. Good luck. Three dice is serious. It's good. What'd you get, Marcus? Five. Oh, shit. I had two tens. Shit. All right. <laughs> Gonna be tricky then. Woohoo! I'm gonna trick you. Really? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> but is, was it all ones? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> one success! <laughs> Out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dice! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the dice scouts were like, nah, fam. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, it wasn't a very convincing lie. It was just... Yeah, yeah no. it was a virus. Oh, my God. <laughs> so Perrin completely is like, yeah, oh, man, the viruses, man. Yeah, it's like, that's and you're like, bad. you're like, yeah. And I'm like... Still, the fact that his arm is still technically bladed right now, it's just like, yeah, that. <laughs> we'll just, uh, we'll tell Iris if she can get us a new one. Like a backup. <laughs> I mean, luckily it was just the monitor, not the actual computer. You know, it's funny. We're not even probably not going to get to the funeral this session. It's fine. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, it's fine. Oh, we'll be all right. <laughs> Don't let we'll us fast talk. forward through. <laughs> we'll fast forward through breakfast and all the other. Hey, it's hey, fine. You can't have hey, the without Will. Hey, Fires, do you regret destroying the computer? A little bit, yeah. Good, good. The the, the session title now works. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Yeah, Milagros didn't, didn't actually have a power. Milagros didn't actually have a power outage. They're just trying to escape. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, so y'all are gonna call that is, Iris. That is it. Uh, it's a, it's just By to the replace way, the monitor. This is seven in the morning. Didn't tell us not. Oh shit! Early. I slept in. All right. Hey, bed and breakfast. I'm pretty sure she's up at this point, anyways. So I'm who's Marcus, calling her? Marcus Who is, is calling, calling her regardless. You hear a very sleepy hello. Hello. Marcus? Uh, yep, that's my name. Do I need to come over and make y'all breakfast? Did y'all burn the house down? Uh, he's gonna like look around. No, I'm standing in it. Okay. Yeah, what do y'all want for breakfast? Uh, can you bring us a computer? What happened to the one in the office? It, it, it's the monitor, yep. not the computer. What happened there to was, the monitor? There was, a, the there monitor? was a virus. There was a virus. And I'm going to, like, look at virus. Wait, a virus shouldn't affect your computer monitor. Can you just bring over a, a monitor and, and maybe some bacon? Okay. I'll be there in about 20 minutes. Give me, I, I, ugh. can y'all make some coffee? Uh, there's already, yeah, I'll make, I'll make a fresh pot just for you. Thank <laughs> you, appreciate it. <laughs> I was just being like, yeah, that, that's a couple of hours old at this point. I'm gonna hang up and like be looking at him when I do it. So 20 minutes later, she'll show up. She has like a bag of groceries, like, you know, like the canvas bags. And just goes over, sets it on the counter, and then she pulls out a, you know, the big mugs, the really big ones? Mm -hmm. She pulls a big one out and sets it on the counter. And then pulls out her little sugar jar and her creamer. <laughs> so. Get another coffee mix? That, that's hot. Yeah, uh, that's out of the point. bag, out of the bag, she also pulls out. Keurig. The little Keurigs. She'll pull out a little Keurig and just sets it on the counter. What's that? And then pulls out a thing of pods. Oh, it's a Keurig. It's a coffee pot. The coffee machine. Marcus is gonna, minute. like, open the thing and close it a few times. Like, Yeah, hold on. I'll show you how it works. So she'll put her mug underneath it and then, you know, put water in where it needs to. Put the little pot in it. Sticks it in and just slams it. And then you see the coffee start brewing right out of it. Wait, Marcus so why are you gonna have... Why the, wait, why the fuck did I make you a pot of coffee? Yeah, yeah, there's the question. You'll see why it doesn't even fill halfway of the cup and then she pours the rest of the coffee from the pot into the tea. Okay. So they made a thing that makes only one cup of coffee. Mm-hmm. Why? Because some people live alone. Okay, so what are we doing today? Um, I do know the Winter Court is preparing for the funeral. Um, we are all requested to dress in similar colors. Okay, so what to each other or to to them? Just basic morning clothes, black. Oh, easy enough. Does Marcus own black clothes? I will take y'all into town to go shopping for clothing. And closet of the or is there anything clothes? Oh. There's no the clothes. Same stuff that I didn't <laughs> wear no clothes. So today. Marcus is just wearing the same fucking flannel the whole time. Yeah, Man. we'll go to the thrift store. Honestly, I could probably sit this out since I've already been out like yeah, you have yeah, clothes. You guys. Yeah. You have clothes. Yeah. Is there a bag with a monitor in it? Yeah. Can I hand oh. Iris the monitor? You can. Virus will take the monitor, and before Marcus even says anything, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This time, so, sure Virus doesn't chop that one in half. Yeah, she's like, how do y'all want your eggs? Scrambled with cheese. Got it. 
Yeah, but no cheese. Okay. Can I have both? Yeah. So she'll go grab the pans, grab a separate pan for bacon. Also, how how do y'all like your bacon? Different ways to make bacon? Yeah. Some people prefer it a little more chewy, some prefer it a little bit more crunchy. No, we shoot those people. <laughs> what shoot shoot which people? The chewy bacon's just raw bacon, isn't it? I don't my bacon I mean, wasn't ever really I crunchy don't... when I got it. Well, well, at, at the same time, Marcus. Again, who are you threatening right now? The 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 chewy bacon people or the crunchy bacon? people? I don't know. You, Iris, you cook the bacon, and then I'll make a decision on who we're shooting. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm pretty sure as long as it's not burnt bacon, also, I'm pretty sure we're good. Also, we need to stop by the um, local gun store. Your your guns came in. Marcus will just perk up a little bit and like genuinely <laughs> smiles just just a little. I just made your morning, didn't I? I'm pretty sure if his tail was out, it would be wagging. <laughs> Lumi uh, trots into the kitchen. Good morning. Lumi, do, you, do you like eggs with or without cheese? I like cheese. Also, what's your preference on bacon? Um, as long as it's cooked, I don't care. All right, good, good choice, good choice. Wait, what about burnt bacon? No. Okay, good, good choice, good choice. Okay. Oh. Breakfast, oh. gun store, thrift shop. Yeah. Oh, so thrift store is where people donate their clothing, and they sell it for cheaper. Funeral. Yeah, the funeral's in three days, two days now. Okay. Breakfast, gun store, thrift store. Got mm -hmm. it. He'll sit and down then, at the table and then steak dinner. <laughs> what about You're... lunch? Clothes shopping doesn't take that long. Uh, we will go get like McDonald's or Burger King or something or Taco Bell. Or Chinese food. We can order Chinese food. Uh, it, it's whatever. You're the one with the money here, technically. So you, you're the one running the show. Yeah. Um. She'll hold up a card. Yeah. Um. I'm using the free holds card for this one. So. Does Does Marcus have any money? Marcus will pull out his wallet and like it's empty. Just, just a moth. It's like a piece of lint in there, and I like pull it out. And be like... Lumi tries to eat the lint. Um, Whatever. So she has made grits, bacon, eggs, and some biscuits. And then she has a, a jar of homemade jam. I homemade eat jam. all of it. Homemade jam. <laughs> Parents like a da a da. What? Hey, okay. I wasn't hungry at all. She holds a Iris holds a plate out for Parent. He ate all Here's the jam. Plate. Like I think he literally drank. She it. pulls out another jar. Parent takes the jar and moves it far away from. Her. You're gonna I die was of diabetes. I, I was trying to figure it's fucking damn right I am. <laughs> oh sorry, that was real life. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> uh Iris is gonna go check on Virus, who's in the office. Yeah. Picking up a monitor. So oh shit. It was a virus and nothing else. You were the virus? It was a virus. 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 
Iris. I would not. I, I would suggest not lying to me. I tend to know when people are lying to me. Well, then I don't have to say anything since so you already know the truth. So. Also, um, by the way, I just rolled something for her. She got eight successes. Jesus. Of course. Uh, she's like, so you're a little pissy. And He's upset. always pissy. You all right? Rough night? You do remember that dream clear as fucking day. Oh, yeah. Which is a first, by the way. Mm. I will tell you night. why the uh, lovely Duchess of Smile manipulated the dream. That's why no. you can remember it. Yeah. It was a... Uh, it was a night. You want to talk about it? Are we wanting to do that here? We can. All right. Close the door. She also has your plate of food in her hand as she closes the door. All right. What's going on? Where to start? Well, first of all, not taking the whole Daisy's death well, for one. You're, uh, not, the, you're not the only one. Yeah, I understand. I, yeah, I, I know. I know. Yeah. Uh, then turns to find, <laughs> come to find out for some stupid fucking reason, Will decided to make a deal with the Duchess of Smiles for some fucking reason. But to do that, Duchess of Smiles gave Will something to give me, mm -hmm. which was a uniform, a lock of hair, and a note. I see. Then, come to find out of while Apple is a mole, she's not aware of who she's being a mole for, but still, she's fucking stupid anyways, uh, then proceeds to break into my room at the Freehold, steals my shit of something very fucking personal, and is trying to even try to run off with it. Yeah. Um, Celeste is ordered a wild hunt on her. That means kill on sight. Yep. Uh, while I feel sorry for her, I also don't at the same time. And then, you know, got here, was doing a bit of research to attempt to educate myself on the situation we're all in. Mm -hmm. Got general information at best. Half of it's useless for what it looks like then had a dream of being back and it was a little basically a little one-on-one -on -one time with me and the bitch your former keeper yeah and then you broke the monitor did she have anything to say Yeah. She had enough to say. Four months. Four months for what? I have four months to get someone out of there. And I am nowhere near ready to deal with that. Well, we can try going to the goblet market during that time to see if we can find anything that can grant you a boon. And she'll have to answer it. 
and he'll allow his to kind of morph out of his hand, flip it like, just flip it around. Yeah. Already got that. Do you know how boons work? Not a goddamn clue. So, a boon is she has to re answer it, and you need to be very specific when it comes to wording what you want. Monkey's paw. Lovely. Okay. However, she will have to abide by it. It's a favor. And then after that, there still has... She can't attack you when doing that favor. She can't quite kill you either, right afterwards either. Yeah, but at the same time, this could be used for... In the grand scheme of things, a bit more important than my personal reason. And that personal reason being? Getting Lynn out of there. I see. If, I know you're not like me, but if I was you, if I were in your shoes, and I had that boom, and if my daughter was still in there, I would have used it to get my daughter out. Yes, we used the kicker about that in particular as well. She is very attached to your daughter at this point. She very much believes that she's her daughter. So, I mean, I could, she say the gentry, they're fucked like that. Yeah. Which means I could also use this boon to help you in having her not fucking want your daughter anymore. I could use this for the freehold itself for her to just fuck off entirely. She just smiles. There's a reason I said you need to word things carefully. That's... A favor is a favor no matter how big or small. Right. If See, you can find a way to ask for all that you want, you can do it. So what you're saying is basically just have a big ass run on sentence. You could. It's Grim. Hi, Grim. Hi, Grim. Hi, Grim. Hey, Hi, Grim. Grim. Right during the middle of the super tense, emotional, emotional shit. Like, yep. Grim's like, I smell drama. <laughs> <laughs> We ride at dawn, bitches! All right. She hears, like, whining outside the door. I have not given Lumi her breakfast yet. I'm surprised Marcus just hasn't given her his food with how attached they are. <sighs> yeah, no, Lumi goes back in the kitchen. They're taking forever. Hey, wait, I have an idea. Hey, hey, Lumi. Yeah? Just ask Marcus for his food. Can I have your food? Hey, Virus. Shut your yeah. fucking mouth. <laughs> kind of impossible, man. But think about what I said. I'm assuming that, that this favor can involve me having her just, you know, off herself, right? You Doesn't cannot that do it way? that way. No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. All right. Fuck. Just thought you'd double check. 
Could I have her fight the others? Oh yeah, I have, would her, not, have her fight I would, mine. I would not suggest that. Uh, you know what? Yeah, they they might use their their. Because if she dies, another true fae may be getting another title, and that increases their power. All right. I'm aware this is a stupid idea that just popped into my head. I'm aware. Okay, explain this stupid idea. What if we took the titles? You no, that's not how that works. Damn. All right. Again, like I said, stupid idea. Yeah. Do you want to turn into a true fae that tortures other people just like us? I'm pretty sure I would still have a mind of my own to not do that. Uh, no. That's just not how that works. Mm. Shit. We're all gonna be that dumbass, though, that's like, I would be special. <laughs> I would be different than everyone that's ever existed. <laughs> No, no, Vi virus does think about this for a second, but then he's like, no, considering the type of individual I am, yeah, no, I, I'm, uh, no, no, that would not be a good idea. This is the one ring moment where they're like, I could just offer it the gla to, to you. And then she's like, I would be a queen, fair and power, like that whole spiel. That, yeah. That's what, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, but instead of her just saying that to warn Frodo, she actually was like, oh, yeah, sure. Oh my god. But, Karen, yeah. what are you doing? What are We're you having doing? Breakfast. Um observing all this They're in the computer room. The entire bit of everything. No, we, I'm listening. We were... Like like listening. Eating. You're listening? Can you please roll a wits and composure for me? Sure. To see if you actually hear the conversation. Got you. For the record, Marcus doesn't give two fucks. He's eating eggs without cheese. He, he's, a eggs with cheese. he's a happy boy. He's a happy boy. He's using bacon like a like a spoon and is scooping up eggs that. on it and then and then she eating it, it off of it. I'm surprised you're just not using the bacon as a spoon. That's what he said he's doing. Oh, okay, Long my bad. Success. <laughs> uh, you can hear bits and pieces of that whole conversation. Okay. So some of it is very confusing. Yep. <laughs> so Perrin's like <laughs> looks at Marcus and he's like So Yeah. A hound of the hunt? Ah uh, yeah, it's awkward breakfast conversation. <laughs> 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 Marcus will like okay we're having this conversation and like he'll he'll set his plate down real gently and like set the bacon down on top of the eggs. Lumi steals the bacon. <laughs> I'll just like grab the plate and drop it on the floor next to me. The plate shatters. Is it a real plate? Who the fuck gave me a real plate? <laughs> Iris. I was going to be a real plate. All of the plates in the house with those cheap plastic plates. Oh, man. The invincible plates. That's what you... Okay. Um, <laughs> is there a point to this dialogue, parent? I mean... Small talk? Small talk. Parent, do you have a, a question? Yeah, I mean, do you have a lot of memory of it? Because I'm trying to remember what I did. All I know is that I got carried around a lot. I need to, like, occasionally fly around and return. I have many memories of it. And as I've recently discovered, I have many that were taken. But some are starting to come back. I know that I went over because they offered me. I couldn't. As most of us did. 
but as we all know, it came with strings and attachments. As I'm realizing, most of us didn't realize the entirety of those consequences. Oh, I think I might... Most of us didn't know the Fey were real. Uh, yeah, um, do you all know how I got, Iris just is walking in the kitchen at this point, do you know how I got taken? Uh, no. I made the dumbass decision to go backpacking in Ireland, and I walked through a fairy circle on accident. Fairy circle. Big ring of mushrooms. Iris, I broke a plate. Technically, it's our plate, so. I bought those plates. I didn't. I'm used to eating out of, like, like metal or, or paper. Um. She looks so sad, and the colors go muted throughout her hair and the face, and the clouds are turning, like, a stormy gray across her face. Marcus is going to gather all the pieces up and take them back to his room. <laughs> You're taking them to your room. I will put them somewhere safe in my room. You're going to get bugs in your room. That was covered with eggs. Can Marcus, he's got a valid point can marcus clean the pieces before <laughs> taking them to his room <laughs> you you get a colander and you stick all the broken pieces in a colander and you wash the pieces okay i take them to i take the clean broken plate to my room uh, wait, are we, super glue wait are we having a conversation on how we got yoinked is that what's going I was on just asking you know about everyone so i thought we were going to the gun store yeah, we are about to go to the gun store. Have y'all had your showers yet? Have y'all gotten cleaned up? Oh, I'll get cleaned up to put on my dirty clothes. And Perrin goes <laughs> running off to the bathroom. I'm gonna smell my flannel that I've been wearing for like three days. Oh, flannel you've been. Oh, you smell <laughs> like yeah, flannel you've been wearing for three days. You smell very woodsy and also sweaty. And you smell like tires because you got run over. And yeah, and burnt rubber, and stabbed by bees, and stabbed by uh, bees. and blood, and blood. And... How can we even go out in public like this? We look like shit. <laughs> Is there any clothes in my? You said there's no clothes in the room. I no, Iris was fucking with y'all. Y'all look in your things. Y'all have basic clothes in there. <laughs> I want to find an outfit that's almost identical to the outfit I'm wearing right you now. You find a nice blue flannel, blue jeans, a pair of boots, and a white tank top. I take it they kind of just got us all generic, fairly cheap, durable clothing type stuff. You got a hoodie and sweatpants. Okay. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, uh, getting my bird feet through freaking sweatpants is gonna be a joy. <laughs> Marcus is gonna gather up those clothes and like continue conversating and be like, "Yeah, no, we've definitely gotten cleaned up," and like heads to the bathroom and is like still. Each of talking. you have your own. Each of you have your own private bathroom. Oh, that's pretty nice. And so Marcus is yelling from out of his public, like private. Iris out of his like, bathroom walks up to you. Why are you yelling into the hall? She's well, we were talking. She's standing in your bedroom door. Why are you? Oh, uh, Marcus will cover his um <laughs> instinctively, <laughs> and uh, is he in the bathroom or is yeah. he in his room? Oh, he's in the bathroom. Oh yeah, she's like, okay, what what do you need to say? Well, we were having a conversation, and then you told us we needed to get cleaned up. I thought yes. this was. I'm doing both right now. Okay. How are you going to be able to talk to me through the shower? That's why I'm yelling. I need to roll something for her. Oh, fuck. Sharon's like, but the shower's not on yet. <laughs> Poor Iris. We gotta love that lust vice, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so 
or seven? It appears I may have hembo brained again. <laughs> <laughs> it appears you may have may suffer the consequences of your actions. Um. So you know how like we base our characters a little bit on ourselves, and like Marcus <laughs> is a dumbass. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, lo looks like what has been written down has been established. Uh, no, she is walking in out an appropriate to the time, door. an appropriate time for a hydrate. Yeah, inappropriate. Yeah, thank you. I, you I appreciate about? This is the most appropriate time for a hydrate. No, definitely appropriate time for a hydrate. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Iris is at the bathroom door. And just peeking in. Um, you you can just I can just be in here. We can have a conversation. I won't look unless you want me to look. Marcus is gonna like I I, I, I um I um <clears throat> um he's gonna turn around like that somehow better. <laughs> And then, uh, and then, yeah, it'll be like, well, uh, yeah, we'll go to the gun store, and then, um, uh -huh. and then, yeah, we'll, um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, um, yep. So it's bare ass that she's mm -hmm. looking at. It. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. She's just, mm. Marcus. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, um, can you get a towel and cover up, please? I'm literally like in in the like. What do you want me to do? Get the tower wet? Just close the shower curtain. <laughs> Marcus's dumbass doesn't have that. Don't, yeah, that makes sense. That makes complete, like... Some fucking, he's a fucking moron. Which in turn, I guess I'm a moron. Yeah, he's... Oh, yeah, I know. Close the shower curtain. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Um. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> and any, anyway. Um. Anyways, her hair does that bright neon color thing again. Well, yeah. I guess. Uh. We'll we'll go to. I'll be done in five minutes, and we can just uh, pack up and go to the gun store. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I, yep. I totally didn't see your ass, and then she just leaves. <laughs> Good job, Marcus. <laughs> that, that a boy. You just <laughs> from parents' bedroom here. <laughs> After the shower ends, you hear this like, "God damn it!" I hear ripping like, noises. Oh. Karen comes walking out, and he's like, "The bottoms, his like bird feet are sticking through holes in the front of the th uh, of the uh, of the sweatpants," and he's like, "Talons are really not good with." tapered bottoms hold on she'll go into your room and pulls out another pair of sweatpants but they're like the flared legs oh mm -hmm. goes back in and just... so eventually you all get ready and Iris is like alright let's load up <clears throat> I brought the van this time Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, Lumi cannot go with us. Lumi, you can't go with us. Okay. Have I'm fun. Gonna be go back for dinner. I'm going to go exploring. Okay. Be back for dinner. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. And then Lumi just starts running off down the street. I'm going to look at, uh, like, look up and down at Perrin and be like, I met a guy that wore kilts once. That probably would... Are, are you sure you need me to tag along with you guys? It's not like if I need anything you... from the gun store and I have clothes. If we leave you here, the computer might get a virus again. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going with. Okay. Did you know you can get on your the internet from your phone? No. Yes, you can get on the internet from your phone. 
All right. First of all, <laughs> with, with my experience with this individual, are we sure we needed to give get him a an up to date phone? I'm pretty sure he would have been fine with the. I say this, but I could be wrong. Who knows? Why did we not just give him a break? That was an option. What do you want me to that... do with that? Throw it through a window when I want to talk to someone inside a house. <laughs> that could be one option. Um, they don't really make the bricks anymore. You don't need anyone to make the bricks anymore. I'm pretty if, sure someone still has one that's perfectly fine. If Actually, everyone's they, not they, in they, the car, they, I'm going to start honking the horn. They do make the so, bricks for old people. As Iris is trying to conversate, <laughs> there's like a honk, like blaring of the horn, like mid-conversation. Every time somebody talks, the horn blares. Perrin, Perrin, the first time horn blares, Perrin literally jumps up and squawks. <laughs> It poofs up like you know with the birds when they get yeah, spooked. The feathers go everywhere. <laughs> All right, I think we need to get in the car. Somebody's getting impatient. What? No, no. He's Marcus, the big, the big dude dog, getting impatient. No. Do you blur the horn again? Yeah, the there horn goes, goes off the again. Car. Gets in the back seat. Are we sure you're not five? Shut up, Maris. <laughs> it's my nah. guns we're it's my guns we're going to get. By okay. the way, you being petty earlier, you do get a willpower back, by the way. Yay! So y'all head off to I will just say the easiest thrift store is um one of the CHKD ones that Every bit of money that you get from the store goes to the CHKD, which is a children's hospital. Okay. That is a Virginia thing. And okay. she's like, all right, have fun. Pick clothes. Make sure you get, like, funeral clothes. And then we'll go to the gun store. The gun store is, like, two doors down. Marcus by it gets an array of clothes that look like they would work for Marcus. The aesthetic is pretty, pretty stereotypical. Flannels, nothing but flannels. Um, I, got, I have a nice flannel. one. I have a nice one with no holes in it. Okay, right, of course. Karen's gonna go through, and he actually has does was in the past. He has good fashion sense. So he picks himself picks himself out something very nice and dignified for um, even going so far as to get like you know high and find some the nearest thing he can get to dress you. There are some there are some dress shoes you can find them. Oh, wait a minute, how do I get my feet? You can with your mask, technically. He goes to put the shoes on. He's like, oh, this creeps me out. Yeah, it feels weird. I don't like this. This is weird. This is weird. Like Perrin, flip flops. Not for a funeral. No, I'm not saying for a funeral. Just everybody's looking at everybody's just some people in the store are just turn to look at you. The parents like, okay, okay, got it. Flip flops. He goes, he goes to find some. You find some ugly. Chartreuse colored flip flops. Translate chartreuse. Chartreuse is an ugly color of green. Okay, cool. I only know primary. <laughs> I'm colorblind, so colors don't matter. I can see some colors. I can see some colors, but if you put them next to each other, they all so look what, the same. So, what kind of. Uh, Carrie's question What kind of colorblind are you? Like. Uh, red green. I have a um, little bit of both of them. Oh, honey. So lucky. So I can see colors, but like if you put blues and purples next to each other, most of the time they just kind of blend into the same. You have thing. trouble distinguishing. Um, and then uh, red, orange, yellow is the same. And then a lot of times red and greens are, are the same. 
I'm pretty good with tones, so I guess, like, oh, that's a forest green because it looks black to me. And, like, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah, no, I have a little bit of... Pets! Woohoo! The more you know. It's not all grays like a dog. Like, I can see color. I just, they're all the same color. They're all the same wonderful. So, Virus, where, what are you doing in the thrift store? What are you, what are you, what are you doing? He, he's just kind of chilling out. Because, I mean, again, he already has clothes. And if he doesn't, he could just morph clothes onto him. Yeah, I forgot about that. Also, Iris has realized that Marcus did not pick out funeral clothes. So she is picking out funeral clothes for Marcus. And you should get him that black flannel. I'm pretty sure he'd really appreciate that. He is not wearing a flannel to a funeral. Uh, uh, like, uh, like as she's as she's helping, I'll be like, "Thank, thank you, ma'am." Don't I, I, I told you don't call you. me ma'am. I we we talked about this. You don't have to call me ma'am. Oh, um, yeah, um, Iris. Uh, like Marcus is legitimately blushing, and it's like, oh, th "Thank you, Iris," and like he's gonna turn to like not be facing her. Marcus doesn't do uh, this well. Ah, uh, someone's embarrassed. <laughs> Byrus noticed. Byrus has pinged on your location. <laughs> <laughs> so are you being called out by Virus? Nothing new. <laughs> He's gonna. I'll like. I'll, I'll. I'll like give him a menacing stare. Sure. You. You want to give a menacing stare? Uh -oh. Um. Roll presence intimidation. Oh, I have lots of those. And composure and resolve for you. Composure resolve. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. uh, having lots of dice doesn't always matter. Yeah. Yeah. I, I found that out earlier. Oh well. In this case, it might. Sure doesn't. I got I got Uno Moss. Oh my Uno? god. I have a chance. <laughs> I got I got one ten and it rolled love that. it rolled into a nothing. Oh my god. Two nines and an eight. Uh, two three. You are two not three. you are not intimidated in the slightest because there's a little bit of blush still on his face while he's just like, I have like <laughs> I'm trying to growl, but it's really like a shitty embarrassing. I was gonna say it's really like a pout. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Shiver me timbers! Marcus is angry! <laughs> <laughs> Iris uh, is like, huh? What's going on? Oh no, keep doing you. You're fine. Okay. Is she still looking for clothes? Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll like turn the face Iris and, and Marcus will like place a hand on like her hip and we'll like try and maneuver her away from virus whether this is towards formal clothes or not like he doesn't really we're heading this direction she's like oh is everything okay huh yeah. where, where are we yeah. going mm -hmm. yeah no i i thought i saw nice clothes this way oh okay that's right Mark. i'm just i'm going Thank away you. from virus <laughs> that's right, Marcus. Run. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, that's right, Marcus. Claim your girl. Virus <laughs> totally misreading the situation. <laughs> he doesn't fucking care. He just wants what's best for me. <laughs> He's being I a bro. So. <laughs> By also being an ass. <laughs> Eventually, y'all get done with the goddamn thrift store. He's a bro ass. <laughs> ass oh bro. Wait. No. <laughs> Why are y'all like this? Because ah! I made a petty bitch. You, you put us together. You handpicked. I did. Okay. I did. I did. Why are you guys the A team? Looks at hand selected individuals. <laughs> so we go to the gun store hell yeah there's just a very tired looking man at the counter 
ha- like also has like a bottle of booze next to him on the counter. What kind of booze? Some cheap ass fucking whiskey. Like how cheap we talking? Jim Bean. Oh. Mm. Hubby and the other was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh. All right. He, he is. I'm that, assuming that not any of that like devil's cut or anything like that. Just straight up like straight plain up, ass like, Jim Bean. You know how much that is at like the alcohol store? Like for a big bottle of it, it's like five like, bucks. Yeah, uh-huh. I was about to say like three bucks. That that man yeah. is going through some shit in his life right now. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm gonna okay. like Iris. How, how, how does this work? Like, are they paid just for? Say, they're paid for. Just say, hey, you're doing a pickup for your what your name is, and then you just get the guy your ID. How old does this guy look? Late sixties. Well, more in an old timer. What the fuck do you want? Uh, and he's popping I'm... open the bottle and taking a swig out of it. Well, I'd like to. Pick up the firearms that are for me and What's pull the up name? my ID. Marcus? Who the f- fuck names their, their last name Ravenwick? Uh, I was kind of boring into it, sir. I'm so sorry. A name's a and name. He just hands your ID back and he goes back and he comes back with a case and sets it down in front of you. I'll pop the case open. It is what you specified. Exactly to the T. I'll like I'll let out like an audible. Would you like to describe what your guns are? Uh they would be like old timey like Western Colt revolvers. Um, okay. but they have engraved, like ornate, beautiful like writing on them. Mm-hmm. Um they're more functional it's not like the crazy pearl handled gold embroidery bullshit um Mm -hmm. they would have like mahogany handles Mm -hmm. um and from a marcus point of view they look exactly like the pair that his wife gave him for an anniversary present oh yay traumatic backstory yeah he's like are these to your liking pick them up spin them they're perfect. Just so you know, the state of Virginia has an open carry law. If you you can open carry, however, if you want to do concealed, you need to get a concealed gun license, which means you are going to have to go through a state background check in order to get a concealed gun license. Oh, I suppose I'll open carry them for now, and I'll get the concealment later. All right, for a concealed gun license, that's going to cost you one hundred and twenty dollars. You don't Fun fact, I actually... Here, ah, shit. I am looking to hire somebody. Well... How much do you my, know about guns? I've used them plenty. All I right, can do fix you know them. How, all right, do you know how to do a uh, background check on somebody when they're purchasing seeing a gun to make sure they ain't a felon? No. I will teach you how to fucking do that. It, when can you start? Um next week all right next week it is my name's Joel. I'll, I'll, I'll shake his hand marcus shakes it hey pack up my guns well, i suppose i'll see you monday bright and early yeah right. we open at 8 a.m oh bright and late iris yeah can you loan me 20 bucks why do you need 20 bucks for? Because this man looks like he's going through some shit in life and he deserves more than Jim Bean. We are not getting Joel any more alcohol. I'm not giving him alcohol. I was going to give him 20 bucks. No. All right, fine. Don't, don't help a man when he's down. Okay. I'll walk past that conversation and be like, I'm sure he's got plenty of money. Maybe he just likes the taste. Uh, like motioning that these could not have been cheap. Well, I mean, I, I'm just saying. All right. All right. Where do y'all want to go do lunch? 
There's we can go to Olive Garden. There's a McDonald's. We can go to Olive Garden. We can go to Taco Bell. We can go to Burger King, Wendy's, McDonald's, Waffle House. Waffle House. Iris just turns and looks at you. Marcus. Oh, boy. Here we go. Right. Here we go. Oh, All right. So Waffle House is a place where it's cheap food, very good for hangovers, and they serve breakfast and lunch food, and they cook it all on a grill that you can watch and see get done, and some really weird things happen at Waffle House after 3 a.m. Also, whenever there's a hurricane or a storm, if the Waffle House closes, that means you evacuate. What happens if the Waffle House doesn't close? You stay. That means the storm ain't that bad. Storm. Waffle House will be open even during snowstorms. Iris, what is your favorite place to eat? I like Olive Garden because unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. Wait, wait, weird, weird trivia here because I decided to look it up. It is a literal thing. The Waffle House Index is a thing. The government yes. uses a private no. business. No, 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 not, not referring to that. Waffle House and Lady and the Tramp came out in the same year. Yeah. I know what a Waffle House is. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, Marcus. You all, you now Perrin know something else that Perrin does not. Perrin doesn't know what a Waffle House is because rich, rich kid. Yes, yeah, because rich kid. Oh, you know, don't, no, 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 I doubt that's the case. No, no, that's true. I went to high school with a lot of rich kids. A lot of them didn't even know what a Waffle House was. Smart. Okay, fair enough. Yep. Uh, okay, then we'll go to this Olive Gardens. Yeah, also, they're, I think they're doing the buy one, get one free entrees or the all-you-can-eat pasta. I'm not sure. We'll see what deals they're having when we get there. All you can eat. Yeah. Or unlimited soup, salad, and breadsticks. Unlimited? That's uh-huh. Crazy. Yep. How do you make money off of that? Buy everything else. Oh, yeah. The breadsticks are delicious. Marcus just has a confused face, and like I'm imagining all the math patterns, just like. Also, when you get like the soup, you can get as much cheese as you want on it. He'll put like his hand firmly on her shoulder. Take me to the Olive Garden. <laughs> Take me to the <laughs> Garden of Olives. <laughs> I think that's a good point where we're gonna leave it tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Take me to this olive garden. <laughs> oh, posture check. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so we are now at our favorite time of the session. <laughs> Learning curve. Take me to the olive garden. That is the best quote I have heard in a while. <laughs> I'm real right. good at being a dumbass. All right, as y'all know, with the learning curve, what the fuck do you think is going on? And what do you want to see more of, less of, and you know the whole drill? So for what is going on, I'm trying to figure out. The Duchess of Smiles was like very much, oh, I don't care about, um, I forgot her name already. I don't care about Apple. that. Apple, I don't care about apples. Even though she's working, so now I'm I'm, I'm just trying to figure out: it, does that mean that Apple was working for an intermediary of hers, or what? And if so, who that person? It to me, Duchess of Smiles comes off as like chaotic, but really, I think it's flipped. I think she's chess playing. And, and has many, many, many pieces. Well, we obviously know that she wants this to be a very long, drawn-out game. Um, she, she loves but, games. Yeah, so she all but said that that's, what she, that's why she's torturing 
virus so much. Trying to draw it out and make it like excru and pretty much just milk this for all the experience she can get out of it. I feel like it's less Joker and more Riddler though. Yeah. No, definitely. Yeah. Yep. It, it, it's yeah. I mean, there's there is effects of that psychotic killer though from Joker though. Bad. <laughs> Honestly, this is the best villain I've built in a long time, and I'm excited. You're welcome. <laughs> to kill her. Any other theories? Um, not uh, me and Iris really. are gonna beat around the bush for a very long time, and then accidentally have you know, and virus for a good chunk of that is going to give you shit the entire time because he's finding this funny a virus for the entirety of that is going to so a no, lot no, of no, sexual of tension it. so a lot of sexual tension a lot of like unknown sexual tension a lot of yeah. like one-sided say... sexual tension one yeah one-sided because poor iris her her vice is lust that poor baby <laughs> Oh, look, this is a big old lumberjack. Mm. <laughs> um, I mean, have you seen Septus? Like, look at her type. She has a type. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm a stereotype. Um, I, virus is going to have to use the boom because it's going to come down to do something stupid. Which virus might do or it's gonna be take iris's daughter but i think he's too good i don't think he can make i don't think he can make that choice he acts like a like a like a d-bag but like he actually has a good heart because mm -hmm. every action he's taken so far has been the right one wait he's he's taking actions he's what <laughs> Uh, when? When is he taking actions? Her smart ass. Uh, 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 you know, uh, he's got that front to him, but I think it's just that. It's it's a front. It's a personality. The tough, the tough, the tough act is a front. The asshole. Let me be, run my mouth. Yeah. 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 So um. Yeah, so that's the only thing, or for me, that's the only thing that is uh, now kind of up in the air as a complete other agent that is, Miles is either utilizing or is getting access to via someone else. Mm -hmm. I think it's agents. I think it's like a web, like a... But they oh, can yeah. all be Definitely. in the same place. There, there is the, the free. The, there's multiple freeholds. Like this is a freehold, right? Yeah. So that web might be global, planet-wise, but our story is just here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's why virus wants to burn down the house itself and watch just, everything else crumble. Yes. Stop all that shit. So for a time. Okay. We could be heroes. <laughs> Just for one day. See, I'm kind of sad that y'all passed your resolve and composures. Wanna give us for when you went to bed. Y'all would have seen the Duchess of Smiles in your dreams, and y'all would have seen Lynn. I would have called her a bitch. Yeah. Y'all would have all had similar dreams. Because Gross. technically, technically, Lynn is part of your botley because of the oath made by which none of us know, right? Because I thought it was know. Lumi. Virus knows. Yeah, no, virus, virus knows. Is virus is the only one that knows besides Lyric. Then, well, now technically, also Iris. Yeah, Iris. No, Iris hasn't put two and two together. Mm, gotcha. Okay. 
She just thinks you made an oath to go get somebody back. It doesn't realize the fifth person in the motley is that oath. Yes. Hmm. So y'all have four months. No, technically we have one month because we're yeah. because after the funeral, then it's going to be a smash cut. Yep, and that's initiation into your courts. Yay! Yay. Woohoo! And uh, trying to get Lynn out of the head. Yeah, that that's that's why he's doing a lot of research. Yeah, and is also uh, staking out that occult place. The occult place, yeah? So you think there's going to be answers at the occult place? It's, I, think it's, I think it's a hollow. It, it's more... Well, answers, maybe, but he's also trying to get a jive of, like, who all and what's all there. Okay. See who goes in and out? Yeah. Because... The thing is, like, because of him being a mirror skin, like, his mask and his actual self can be the same fucking thing. So he can, he actually can blend in with normal people. Mm -hmm. So he has a better chance of saying, like, okay, that's a changeling, that's a changeling, that's just a dude. Anything else? It could be off the cuff. I, I, don't, I don't think we need me, need me to go off the cuff more than I already have at this point. <laughs> Parents Anything obviously going to freaking out, well, fretting about the situation with West is. Marcus is going to get drunk. It's a summer thing. I know. Next, next session, Marcus is drunk. Okay. Session, Marcus is drunk. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna call that one because we're having a wake, aren't we? Oh yeah, mm -hmm. right after Marcus, the funeral. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a, uh, a educated guess that Marcus could. Yeah, start. I have more time to write the eulogy. Great, more sadness. Awesome. No, not not Jeez, more God. sadness. Refined sadness. Oh yes, huh. all the more palatable. Yes, okay. yes. Hey, it kind of works out because after the funeral, we'll be starting our three after it'll be three months later and we'll be starting after the new year. Well, this time. Oh, yeah. we Well, now the whole episode next time could be a. So uh, I, I will say to to parent of like, if he did get the flip flops <laughs> virus, virus is going to just go to let him know. It's like. Okay, like, in all honesty, you can just wear them around the house. You don't have to wear them outside if you don't want to. I just figured you might want to have something in case, you know, we don't sweep the floor for a couple of days. Okay, so, as always, uh, King Face Crush, where can we find you? Uh, I am here on Mondays. And I am on my own channel on Thursdays and Fridays. I am on TikTok and Twitter and Basically, every other social media under King Phrase Crush. Fab. Hi. You can Where find, can we find you? You can find me here for this this game in particular, where I'm a, a petty bitch douchebag, but is also <laughs> probably a secret softie. Who knows? And then uh, on Saturdays, whenever we start that back up, uh, you will see this me Saturday? there. You will see me there as an angsty asshole who's a bit of a softy. <laughs> Hi, I am Star Star Stories. You can find me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Hive, and uh, Tumblr. Under any iteration of Star Star Stories or Star Star Story, uh, you can find me here Mondays running this lovely game, Tuesdays for Emerald Sanctum, Saturday mornings for Monster Hearts Tea Breakfast Club. Uh, you can also find me on Beggar Street on Mondays for Twin Cities by Night and the Coalition of Onyx and Gold every other Friday. Uh, every other Thursday on to turn to page 394 for Star Wars 5e. And then Friday nights, you can find me playing some sort of game on the Figment Collective every Friday night at 11.30pm Eastern Standard Time. And then Sundays for our Monster of the Week game 
uh, called The Dark Heart of the Woods. I think I named everything. I think maybe. You got it in real quick. I have. Bravo. I have a laundry list. And yes. Ray. So, uh, thank you all very much for being here. Thank you, M, very much for running. As always, it was a better time. Um, still feeling parent out a little bit. It's kind of interesting. Uh, didn't go the way I think I thought it was going to go. So, it's going to be neat. Uh, but remember, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this week is the week before Thanksgiving, or the week of Thanksgiving, I should say. Um, we are going to have our Tuesday game and our Wednesday game. Our Friday game is going to be canceled, so and that would be Pure Havoc, which is a, a, a Game Raider girl. Uh, Saturday morning, I think, M, you're still running yours, correct? I am still running Saturday okay. morning. And so, but then uh, we're going to have one more week after that, and then we're going to go on our break for Christmas. Now, we are planning some one-shots in between there. Um, I'm going to get with my other storytellers, see what the availability is like and what they want to do, and we'll get those scheduled. We'll start reaching out to people who want to play, and we'll get that all taken care of. But uh, we are going to be doing that uh, during the time from the first week of December all the way through until after Christmas. Um, we come back to actual regularly scheduled programming in January. So, And the main reason for that is everyone does hard to get into the schedule so we're just gonna say we will play what we can play we may even do jackbox and you know uh, uh, uh and all, all a bunch of other party games and stuff like that just to get everyone together because it is going to be the holidays so whoever's not visiting family want to spend it with somebody don't you and why not do it with us <laughs> but in the meantime um i'm going to go ahead and see who's on right now because we'll probably think about raiding someone so okay. the lolly uh, the Lollygaggers is playing Holler, which is a Savage World system. Lollygaggers. Also, uh, did, did we get XP? <laughs> yes, uh, the usual amount. What was the usual amount again? Three for the team, one for the uh, learning curve, and then uh, whenever y'all get your journal entries, you get an extra one. Okay. Also... Do remember one thing for us, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be the holidays. Shopping is going to be huge. Everything's going to be going crazy. People are going to be packed into spaces that they shouldn't be packed into. Wear a mask when you can. Social distance if you can. Stay safe. We want you always to come back and join every single show that you can because we love having you in the audience. We love running these games for you. And, you know, we'll do it whether you're here or not, but we'd rather you. And that means you have to stay safe and not get sick. So we love you, and we will see you guys tomorrow night. For Emerald Sanctums, um, we will see you on Wednesday for King Yes, and Saturday for the Breakfast Club. And we hope everyone has a really great Thanksgiving. If you don't, so we don't see you for the rest of the week. And we we'll see you guys later. And I really great holiday. <laughs>